I'm Lacey Berry and I'm a paper artist. I started working with paper about 10 years ago. I was working in uh, costume and set design for small films and commercials. And um, I had a request to make a whole set out of paper and I thought, you know, why not? And then the idea sort of stemmed from there and then I started putting it into my own artwork. It's really tactile. I can do a lot with it. I can mold it, sculpt it, put it into pulp. I can paint it. Um, it comes in a variation of colors and textures. It's just a really great material to get an idea out quickly. I make sculptural work out of recycled cardboard and paper, usually with a color story. And there's a lot of geometric shapes and uh, natural florals and all kinds of things inspired by nature and architecture. First of all, I come up with a color story. So it's either from an image that I take or uh, something that's inspirational. And then from there, I start um, looking at making the sculpture. Uh, I kind of pull out different shapes, uh, different things I have already uh, in my archive, and the cardboard structure that everything is going to be attached to and then all the components. And I mean, it's a very organic process. I have a die cutting machine that does a lot of that work for me, whereas before I used to do all of it by hand. So this piece is part of the pillar series that I've been doing for the last few years. Um, before that, I did a lot of layered paper, uh, wings in particular, and paper sculptural bouquets um, with different kinds of flowers. So this takes the original series of like wings and paper bouquets and it combines it and these like 3D sculptures. The pillar sort of started off as an idea to make my work a bit more viewable from all angles. Some of the challenges working with paper is very fragile. So even though it sculpts really well and you know you can do a lot with it, you can you can bend it and, and fold it and all kinds of things. You can tear it or if you get it wet, it's kind of destroyed and you have to redo that segment of the piece. But it also the fragility, I think it gives it the essence. My next project, it's a little bit of a secret, but I'm actually exploring more the illustrative side of my work and moving more into the podcast realm. I want to tell stories um, and I want to use my paperwork to sort of promote these stories and show them in a different light. I'm kind of interested to see what I do next.